and we're online. Good afternoon. Good morning. Just in case. Good evening. Hello. Always the safest thing to say in these sessions. And uh, it's Lynn here from the Learn English Network with another pop-up English session. Uh, the last for this week. And there won't be one next week with me because I'm going to be away. But I'll probably carry on the week after. Keep an eye on the calendar. Remember, these sessions have no set time. Uh, just to be fair to people who aren't always uh, able to come to the other sessions, I'm going to mix them up sometimes the morning, sometimes the evening, sometimes the afternoon. Very, very unlikely that it will ever happen in my night time, though. I'm far too sleepy by the time it uh, hits eight o'clock, nine o'clock. <laughs> so April's in uh, text chat saying she doesn't know what to eat today. <laughs> What am I expected to do about that, April? <laughs> okay, um, we've got a new member and you've jumped through all the hoops. Uh, Carlos, I think it is, isn't it? Carlos, would you like to introduce yourself? <clears throat> Oh, can you hear me, Carlos? Hi, this is uh, here from Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very, very well. Thank you. Carry on from Las Palmas. Okay. Yes, from Canary Island. Uh, I am a student about security and emergencies. Uh, I finished my final project in, at the university about security and emergencies as well. <laughs> and I study intermediate English too uh, at the high school English. Uh, in Spain is called Escuela de Idiomas. Um, I like in my free time, I like computers, uh, science computers. Running, basketball, or ATC. Awesome, very good. Sorry, I muted my I muted my microphone because my little doggy just started barking at I have no idea what somebody something outside. But uh, that was very interesting. So, what what are you? I know you've just joined the network, and I apologise. You do have to. You can. People can come to the Monday sessions and the Friday sessions without having to join anything or uh, without having to confirm anything. But if you want to come to these sessions and some other sessions, you do need to let me know who you are and to join the forum. Um, it's just because we've run these sessions for a long time and we know how it can get. So it's to keep you safe and to make it more fun for us not to have to deal with anybody who's not really here to learn English. <laughs> um, it's interesting that you've, you, you've put computers as part of your spare time. Really? You like computers as a hobby, yeah? Yeah, it's my best hobby because uh, I'm, it's, I'm great, uh, I like great, uh, doing graphic designers. Uh, for companies, um, it's very interesting for me. Okay, so I wouldn't say I like doing graphic designers. Um, graphic designers are people who work in graphic design. Okay, <laughs> so um, I like doing graphic design is what you would say. So I like doing graphic. Oops, capitalized it wrong. Graphic design for companies okay so what do you do that you would consider a hobby that sounds like work okay what would you consider a hobby on the computer I mean I like computers because they enable me to do this and to run the network but that's work um, in my spare time I like computers because I can play games I can chat with friends. So what part of it is more less to do with work, Carlos? 
Um, after works, after works, uh, I spend a lot of times uh, to see documentaries in English. Um, and sometimes I play games, video games. Okay, well. so we wouldn't say to see documentaries, to watch. So you watch a lot of things on your computer, not on the television. Yes, 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 in uh, computer and television because I have a uh, uh, Netflix. Ah, yeah, me too. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I like being able to watch TV when I want to. So if I have an hour free, I can just switch on Netflix, find a program I'm following and I can watch it. And you mentioned you watch it in English. I'll give you a thumbs up for that. <laughs> Well done. Anyhow, April has joined us and I love it when we get a new member because it allows people to say hello to each other and ask each other questions. April, I'm not sure if you heard Carlos's introduction because you were text chatting about your dinner. <laughs> hello, April. Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Uh, I can hear you, but I don't know if you can hear me because I, I always... The first time, uh, every time I open the chat, uh, the voice the chat, uh, the voice channel, then uh, it said Discord can't detect your voice settings. Why is that? Probably um, the microphone you're using, if it's a USB one that's not compatible with your sound card, it's just looking for your settings and it's not finding it where it thinks it should be. But if you're, you, you use a USB, Mike, uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and it works. Yeah, no, it works, but it can't find what it's looking for. Okay, Discord is only a computer program, and it's a very clever computer program. And the people at Discord are very clever, uh, but they have their limitations. <laughs> so, I have the impression that they, they are not so clever if they always said that. Uh, and but really, isn't that, isn't actually, that nice? if they're not so clever that they can find out everything about your computer, I like that. It makes me feel a bit safer. <laughs> but they make me confused. <laughs> ah, but you're easily confused, April. You always yeah. tell me that. <laughs> so, not they make me confused, they make me feel confused or they confuse me. Okay. Ah, okay, they confuse me <laughs> every time. And Lynn, actually, yeah. I don't really like this uh, new settings that uh, everything is... Uh, you know why? Uh, why? I don't know. Because you don't like change. <laughs> yeah, but, I've but moved I... your cheese. <laughs> I've moved your cheese. You don't like it. No. Ma Monday Live Chat and TGIF are there in the, in the same place, okay? Uh, uh, but... Let's see. Monday Live Chat and TGIF. Yeah, MLC, the voice. TGIF, yeah, they're at the top. I see here uh, uh, every, uh, uh, from top to, to down, Okay, uh, top to bottom. And then chat, chat, text, the common room, text, uh, text, uh, Latin uh, radio show, and then suddenly uh, voice, small talk, and then we again chat, MLC, chat, TGIF, Voice English Radio, Voice Use News. What is Use News? You, do you need voice for Use News? Use News you then, use? No. Um, yeah. Not, do you know what I just heard you say? Do you know what I just heard you say? Use News. Use News. <laughs> use News. I was like, she's on the wrong channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, you snooze, you lose. Um, you snooze, you lose. That voice. Okay, Carlos ended up there earlier because that's where oh. you go if you are in a voice chat and then you don't do anything for a while. And the reason you end up there, it's just muted, so people mm -hmm. can't hear you if you've left your mic open oh, by, okay. for, by by mistake. Um, we've set it up because. Zom came online one day and somebody was still in the room and she could uh -huh. hear them and their children and it really freaked oh. her out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> They'd forgotten to hang up. They hadn't muted. So they were basically broadcast. Now, it was only Zom and, you know, it wasn't a problem. But so we've set up you snooze, you lose and Discord will automatically put you there if you're inactive. Um, it's like a little bit like 
that happens in Kitely when you go away. <laughs> you know, your avatar just goes. Um, it's similar to that, but it's even more powerful because people won't be able to hear you and they won't be able to speak to you and you won't be able to speak. So people won't be able to hear you if you get what I mean. It's just a safety feature. <laughs> ah, okay. And then I have LAN members only. Uh, what's that? Chat, LAN members, and then voice pop-up English. This is the first time I've saw it. Okay. Because, uh, well, your your view is very, very different to mine. Okay, because mine's much better organized than that. Can you drag them around at all? Can you can you know? I don't know, but the, the, this pop up English voice uh, maybe that uh, because I didn't join before that I can't see that before I couldn't. Now I'm able. Okay, no, it's, it's oh. partly the it is new. It only arrived uh, fresh out of the box on Wednesday, so uh, Tuesday, so it is relatively new. Um, and only the thing, the reason I've done it is as a network member, you can see it and non-network members won't be able to see it. So when people first come here for Monday live chat or TGIF, they will only see the common room, small talk and either MLC or TGIF and English radio. Uh, that's all they'll see. It'll be much simpler for them and for people who like yourself are more um, active there will be you'll be able to see more but you'll get used to it it's just changed that's all anyhow April would you like to introduce yourself to Carlos because he doesn't actually know you I don't think <laughs> uh, no yeah, uh, Cesar Carlos Cesar Cesar Garcia sorry Cesar why did I say Carlos oh because it's, yeah. it's written in front of me uh, it's Car <laughs> Cesar <laughs> would you like April would you like to introduce yourself to Cesar thank you yeah, Cesar. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to know about me? <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I live in Belgium, in Antwerp. Uh, I've been in. Uh, I've been with Lynn since how many years? Uh, 2009 or 2010? I can't remember. Is it so a long time ago? Is it such a long time ago? Uh, first was only uh, yeah to, uh, voice and the uh, forum, and now uh, I even me <laughs> for a long time yeah uh, even me I um, uh, I feel confused from time to time if somebody asks me how to join that how to do because Lynn has so many so many platforms <laughs> to Lynn <laughs> he's she is so rich. <laughs> And then uh, I I was a nurse uh, in the past. Uh, I've been on uh, uh, um, retreat, or I I'm already pensioned. I'm I was already reti retired. I was already retired since 2011 because uh, I have enough to work. Uh, a long enough work and I'm good now rest in my old age <laughs> my uh, uh, activity daily activity maybe uh, until next last week I uh, joined clean a lot almost every day and now since uh, this week I couldn't <laughs> because I have another job I was uh, I have to 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 take care of my grandson my first grandson <laughs> and today but today i'm free for uh, from i'm free for uh, taking care of my grandson but uh, this morning i was uh, i i did client dancing that is my week weekly activity uh and now I, i'm tired actually i've i've uh, uh, I've uh, kept my grandson for three days and it was very amusing. It was very nice, but it was tiring. <laughs> I really, I was, I was really fed up today. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
<laughs> well, I hope you've not taken on too much. Babies are tiring. <laughs> oh, very interesting. They are. Oh, they're lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, looking after a baby is a big commitment. Ask a Matsu. We'll have to get a session um, for you and a Matsu so all the grannies, <laughs> all the grannies can get together. <laughs> we'll have a granny session. <laughs> but my grandson asked a lot of... Uh... Uh, attention actually because every time she, uh, he 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 is tired he he cries and uh, every time he has hungry he cries and uh, when he is hungry uh, everything has to be fast 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 uh, in 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 a couple of seconds I, I he has to have his uh, his uh, bottle but I still have to warm it up every time so <laughs> it is and he could he could cry so hard so loud and this yeah they are demanding oh, baby babies but he she he is now two months actually eight weeks not two months eight weeks and he uh, started he starts she starts already with uh, uh, making noises and there was very very nice noises and and smiling oh that was lovely <laughs> and uh, when he's crying, when he's crying, uh, after a lo after a couple of time, he uh, his tears rolls down. He roll down, roll down, and then you can you can avoid it. You your heart will smelt. Actually, <laughs> you have to pick him up. <laughs> My, go my yeah. goodness, I hope your heart doesn't smelt. That sounds... Your heart will melt. Melt. Will melt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, melt. Also, smelt is in, in Dutch. Smelt is um, obviously the past tense of to smell, but it's also... It's ah, yeah, process. yeah, that's right. Well, it's also a process in making iron. You smelt the metal, which means very, ah, really? very, very hot temperature. Yeah, smelt, it's a bit of a specialist vocabulary. But if you oh. put in the verb to smelt, then, yeah. Oh, okay. So you can't say an iron, you, you, you melt iron? No. Iron? No. That can. Oh, no. okay. Because it wasn't frozen. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay. Melting and smelting. Yeah. Uh, melt, melting and smelt. Smelting? Oh, smelting. smelting. Not smelling. It's smelting, yes, yeah, smelting is the extraction of the iron ore from the the rocks, basically. Um, so it's smelt, sorry, smelting is extracting the iron from the iron ore, which is the rock containing the iron. Very, very hot temperatures, so you wouldn't want to... Um, <laughs> You wouldn't want to uh, get a baby anywhere near that. Oh, <laughs> but Cesa, so uh, I have heard that you uh, like uh, doing computer design, but where are you from? I haven't heard that. I didn't hear, hear that. I didn't hear that. Uh, well, I, I live in Spain. Ah, okay. Where? In Spain? Not in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. It's in Canary Island. It's near Canary to the, Island? Near to the Africa. It's so one ah. kilometer. Oh. So Canary, Island, Canary Island is... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I heard Kennedy Island. So I think, why Kennedy Island in Spain? <laughs> Canary Island, yeah, it's a, a, a holiday resort. Eh? A lot of people from here uh, uh, go there for uh, holidays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been there. I haven't been there. You have been here. So in where? Where in the Canary in, Island? Uh, in Canary Island, no, never. Uh, uh, not, not yet. But in I was in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I was in Madrid. I was in Andalusia uh, last year. Uh, the, a, a trip to three three cities in Andalusia, so uh, Cordoba and uh, what is the other one uh, again? Oh, I forget always for where the um, uh, one of the member Lynn uh, lives there. Uh, in, in, can you say that? Can you say some uh, some cities in Andalusia? Yeah, Sevilla. 
Sailing, 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 sailing. Come on. Oh. Yeah, and the other one where the the castle uh, with the uh, beautiful, beautiful castle at the. Uh, yeah, yeah, in Andalusia, the there is, there are beautiful castles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You mean yeah, Granada, 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 ah, yeah. Granada, Cordoba, and Sevilla, Sevilla, Sevilla. Yeah, yeah, that three. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I think. Um, yeah, you have been there, Alien? Me? No, I've been to Spain. Oh, no. But um, and I've been. But remember, when I go traveling, I'm often with my doggy. So we avoid uh -huh. the cities. Um, so I've been to, let me think, um, I was in Seville. Uh, that was a weekend. Been to Madrid, Barcelona, one of my favourites, of course. But I've never been to the Canary Islands. I've been to Ibiza, um, but I'm not sure if that counts. <laughs> the temperature is similar to Ibiza because um, in the Canary Islands now it's... Uh, 18 degrees, Ooh. 19 degrees. Lovely. I'm not sure what... It's quite no! Nice. Yeah, it's quite nice it's here not... today, but... Um... That's not hot, eh? 18 degrees, degrees in Canary Island. We have here... Yesterday it was uh, hot here. Uh, 20, 20, and up to 22. Today is about 14, 15. So 18 degrees in Canary Island is not. Uh, I'm really not much. pleased, actually. Sorry, sorry to say it, Cesar, but I'm very pleased because it's actually warmer here in Germany. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was dreading asking you what the weather is like. One of my favourite questions, but uh, yeah, it's actually warmer here in Germany than it is in the Canary Islands. Fantastic. And uh, um, uh, Cesar. Uh, in Canary Island, so it is uh, famous for holiday, a lot of uh, tourists. Uh, how about uh, the people, local people there? Because I know that in Barcelona, for example, they they complain about tourists. Eh? And what about in Canary Island? Do you also complain? Are you com complaining about tourists or do you like them? Uh... They complain. Uh, I, I saw in the news um, that people people abroad uh, complained about the the hotels um, and uh, other buildings because they present the present the complaints because they they don't like the the one one term or similar and when come when they come back to the country local country uh, she she asks to the police station or similar that present the complaint and come back the money do oh, you understand you mean, me you mean the tourist complaint yeah yeah Ah no, yeah, yeah. It is, it is the opposite. I, I want to know about how about the, the opinion of the local people now. Like you, you live there. Eh? You are, you are Spain. You are Spaniard, Spanish. You are Spanish. Uh, you live in the Canary Island, but sometimes, uh, especially in the summer, there is, uh, uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, of, of tourists and uh, many people who lives there complain. That is what I want uh, to know. Uh, Barcelona and Venezia, Venezia, for example, also they don't want uh, tourists anymore there because uh, uh, a lot, yeah, many drunk and drunk people, many drunk people, and a lot of noise and uh, yeah. Uh, you are Spanish. Oh, you are Spaniard. Okay, <laughs> you are Spanish. You are a Spaniard. Okay, I thought that. Spaniard is a Dutch word, but it is an English word. So that is what I want to know, uh, Cesar. Not the not the other uh, way around. Not the tourists complaining, but the local people like you. you yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. Are there too many tourists in the summer? Do you get fed up of the tourists? 
Yeah, yeah, I love it that the tourists come to Canary Island because uh, I want to speak to another people. And I know new friends because I love it. I love it. People received uh, the tourists uh, very kind. The, the tourists what? Uh, from England, UK, from uh -huh. Germany, Sweden. It's, uh, they, they visit uh, the tourists um, ah. stay at the hotels in the, in the south of the island. Okay, so you, you, you think that uh, you, can, you can communicate with the tourists when they are on holiday there or...? Uh... Yes, I uh, communicate with uh, foreigners. Uh -huh. to, to, uh, to, to, okay, to, to speak English with them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when I go, when I go to the the uh -huh. south of the island that is called Maspalomas, I communicate with foreigners in English or in English, especially in English. Uh, um, when I go with my family, I speak with them. Ah, okay. So you, you, you don't really hate <laughs> the tourists. Actually. Uh, sometimes, nowadays, Elin, also, uh, sometimes if I say, if I think, oh, I like to go there, and then I think, oh, will I be welcome there? <laughs> this, this nowadays, you, you hear a lot in Amsterdam also, yeah? In Amsterdam, they have uh, also complaints uh, about uh, tourists. Uh, uh, here in Belgium, uh, not yet uh, that much. Maybe because there are, uh, is, Belgium is not one of the favorite uh, tourist place. But uh, uh, yeah, but how can how if they always make a publication about some place, then a lot of people will like to visit them. Like the, uh, the Machu Picchu also, yeah. They 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 really uh, yeah suffer a little bit actually. The 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 building, the the monument, they suffer a little bit because uh, there are a lot of uh, too much people, too many people, too many too many tourists, and uh, they uh, it not that uh, they they distract the 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 monument, the building, but maybe I think because. Then, uh, yeah. Uh, also, the the landscape will change because they they need to they need to uh, build more hotel, more accommodation for tourists. So I can I can understand that uh, uh, local yeah. people will 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 a little bit hate a little bit tourism. Uh, do you know? AMB? AMB or BNB? <laughs> AMB. What is that? AMB? Or BNB. It's a website about uh, rent their house. Um, yeah. Uh, um, uh, R, R, uh, oh, yeah. The, the A is from R. Uh, what is now again the name? Airbnb, yeah, that's it, Lynn. Airbnb, yeah, I know. But uh, phew, I don't know. I read a lot uh, bad comments about BNB also. It is... uh, here, uh, people rent a lot of house in, in my city because uh, people... Um, Earn a lot of money with uh, with rent his house or their house uh, because in Canada in the Canary Islands uh, there are a lot of people because he rents uh, uh, one or two houses for low cost. Is that a um, is that a problem with the Caesar, does that mean there's not enough housing for local people? Because that is an issue we have in Germany, in Frankfurt, which is a very rich city. 
and lots and lots of finance industry is in Frankfurt and the government is trying to stop Airbnb uh, from allowing people to rent property online because it means the locals can't afford to live there. Not because of tourism, this is generally just because of business, because of commerce. Is that a problem in the Canary Islands or? Yeah, it's the problem because uh, the hotel reduce uh, reduce his visits or their visit their visit because other people uh, earn a lot of money with his only house rent on your house. Yeah, and people save money because the tourists save money by and are able to rent a whole house. I haven't managed to use Airbnb yet though, because every time I've tried it's fallen through it hasn't worked out so i've kind of given up on airbnb as a as a way of finding accommodation it's not to me it's it's as though the people who are on there don't really take it seriously that you're a customer it's almost like you're convenient if they want you but as soon as they want to change anything they just go oh sorry no you can't come now and that's like two days before you're meant to be going but i know zom um, you'll get to know zom uh, Caesar. Zom knows uh, Airbnb very well because she does a lot of traveling. She loves it. She she likes going to places where you're actually staying with the family, not renting out the whole house, but staying in just a room with the family. She's got some very funny stories as well. <laughs> but what is then the difference between Airbnb and just BNB bed and breakfast? Lynn? It's about it licensing. Um, a B &B, ah, yeah. If you're licensed B&B, &B, you have to have certain fire regulations, uh, standards. Uh, if you want to get into the B&B &B directories like the AA or the RAC or the tourist information, with Airbnb, it can just be your house, you want to rent a room out, you put it on Airbnb. They do do checks um, eventually, but I'm not sure how, how I've never we haven't even got a room to rent out, so it's not going to happen. Um, but uh, I don't know what the checks are, whether they check that you have got a room, that you're a real person. Um, but I think they send somebody round to make sure it's a genuine place that you have access to and you're not just trying to get people. But th you don't pay anything till you're there and you release the funds. You put the funds or the payment for the room into what we call escrow. I don't know if it's a <laughs> goal we're doing financial English, escrow, which means that Airbnb holds that money until you release it. And you only release it when you're happy with the accommodation. If you don't accept the accommodation, then you don't pay. So, um, but it, it is a bit strange. It's a bit like Uber. Do you have Uber in the Canary Islands, yeah, Caesar? Uh-huh. And, and, uh, I don't know uh, Uber. Uber. You it's don't like know. A, oh. Ah, I thought everybody knew Uber. They're a, they're a taxi firm that's not a taxi firm. Um, you phone up, well, you use an app on your phone to order uh, a taxi or an Uber driver, as they call them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all oh, right, okay. They've been banned from London now. Did you hear? They've been uh, told they can't operate in London. But it's a similar sort of thing. They're not professional taxi drivers. Um, people yeah, apply yeah. to be a taxi driver. Or t people apply to be an Uber driver, and they do some checks. Um, but when when they come to your door, they could be. We we did use one. Uh, it wasn't Uber, but it was something similar to get to the airport. And it was very funny because when the guy arrived, he had to move all the uh, push chairs out of the back so that we could um, get our uh, get our luggage in. <laughs> so yeah. he's obviously not a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. Where was that, Lynn? In in Germany. In Germany, yes, yeah. Oh. Okay, I I used the uh, Uber when I was in Indonesia, but uh, that was the driver. Uh, my sister knows the driver, so we have more. Uh, we trust uh, uh, him more than if I just call uh, a Uber uh, online. Mm. 
I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, oh, but it's the same if you call a taxi because <laughs> the taxi driver yeah. is just as much a stranger to you. It's just something different. I'm. I c I feel for taxi drivers. Uh, I can understand why they don't like Uber. I feel for hotels, I can understand why they don't like Airbnb. Um, but Airbnb has changed the hotel industry. It's made it look at its pricing. And what are people looking for when they travel? Are they looking for what hotels used to be like? Or are they looking for a more just a place to stay at, to have a centre um, with you know, something a little bit different rather than this horrible corporate premiere in kind of feeling. I, I, I like Airbnb, I like Uber, I like the fact people are doing things a bit differently. It's good. <laughs> it shakes things up a bit. <laughs> have you ever used Uber or have you ever used B Airbnb, Caesar? Yes, I use uh, Airbnb. Uh, because uh, my my friends uh, want to rent your house, and um, this is a big problem with Uber in Barcelona because uh, let a lot, there are a lot of com competence with uh, professional taxis. Okay, not competence, competition. Oh, sorry, not competence. Competence means um, you are competent you are able to do the job okay if you're a competent person i think you mean competition competition it's quite noisy there where you are have your friends come home <laughs> okay i could hear them say hi <laughs> they sound quite lively quite a lively lot <laughs> but yeah competition um if you to compete okay so it's a little bit different to competence okay and what about um april you said you used it in indonesia but only because have you and you've never used airbnb have you tried to use airbnb no, no no what do you prefer no. to do when you're traveling then because i um yeah normally i uh will i will take a hotel or like in japan for example a kind of uh rokun they call it rokun that is a kind of bnb to book a hotel uh, and uh, in andalusia i like to use the the apartment but i can't find that kind of uh, accommodation in madrid uh, madrid is only hotel but in andalusia you have a lot of uh, of uh, offers uh, for uh, flats, flat or apartment, yeah, self-catering. Yeah, self-catering, um, because that covers flats, apartments, renting a house, a villa. <laughs> ah. It means you cook for yourself, you yeah. live as if it's yeah. your house, your home for a week or two. I, I like yeah. self-catering too. I like Next that one, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But I think that is different than the Airbnb or, uh, uh, yeah, Airbnb is more official, I say. Airbnb is not really, uh, yeah, it's legal, but... Uh, 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 not like, no? Well, or as not? I said, some places are trying to ban it because it has yeah. had um, it has had an effect on the traditional tourism industries. Now, I yeah. don't know if anybody's managed to ban it yet, but let's ha just have a look. Airbnb banned. Um, yeah, eight cities are trying to crack down on it. Uh, to crack down means to kind of stop crack down on something they're trying to stop it and ooh, let's have a look where has it been banned because i'm not sure if uh, they have uh, like in hotel they have the fire what Lynn? fire condition fire, uh, fire regulations fire regulation that is uh, what i'm a little bit uh, worried about yeah, well, um, Barcelona has tried to fine Airbnb uh, because they breached local laws. Uh, Berlin as well, they're trying to ban short-term rentals um, altogether uh, because they haven't applied for the right permissions. Um, let's see. 
I'm not sure. Okay, San Francisco and New York, you can only become an Airbnb um, provider if you're a resident. Because what they've found is a lot of places, because there is, there is money in it, um, people are buying properties just to rent them out on Airbnb. And that's not really what Airbnb was meant to be for. It was meant to be for people to just make money from their spare room from a bit of room in the house or even maybe a granny annex but people are actually buying properties and letting them out on Airbnb without having to meet re local fire regulations and health and safety etc which makes it expensive to run the business so bed and breakfast owners and hotel owners are really pushing to have it banned um, for anybody who's not a resident because otherwise it's just another rental property market and I think there are there are I can understand why people are like that but um, I still like the idea of Airbnb I like the idea of people having a spare room and thinking I'll rent it out and um, you get to meet some interesting people and they get to meet you and I think it's nice but to do it as a business that's not why Airbnb was set up did, did you rent with uh, Airbnb? Did you like it? I never... Well, I tried... <laughs> it's a sad story. I've tried twice and both times um, it fell through. When something falls through, it doesn't work out. Uh, both times it was cancelled two days before we were meant to be leaving. Once was in Trier in Germany and the other time was in Luxembourg. Um, and both times without the thing is I think they genuinely were people and suddenly they had friends coming to stay they'd got them the, the days wrong um, but it's always a bit difficult for me Caesar because I have a dog and we like to travel with our dog now I'm away next week and the dog is going Ooh, let me just check she's not here she's going into kennels uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, oh, don't tell her. Shh, 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 don't tell her. She doesn't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we're going to a city. I hope, but not with Airbnb because hubby's got fed up of it. He said, "No, we're not using Airbnb. It never works out, and I don't trust it." <laughs> but Zom, who's not as active at the moment because she's working again uh, full time, but uh, she's used them a lot, and she she's the person who got me to try it uh, because she said oh it was great and we you know and this and it can be very different you can meet some very interesting people but it sounded like fun uh, sadly it has never worked out for me so if you want to know what it's like as an experience ask Zom she's managed to get it to work <laughs> But it is annoying if you have, uh, uh, you, if they cancel it for one or two days before, Lynn. Yeah. Uh, you have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it is uh, a hotel, they have to, yeah, they have no, to. No, they don't. No, no, no. No, they don't. Um, it, they, there are, they do, they try to find you alternative accommodation. But I, ah, don't, really? I don't think they're legally obliged to um, provide alternative ah. accommodation. Especially if you haven't paid yet. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I've never... It's happened to me with hotels as well, uh, where they've overbooked, because they regularly overbook, uh, deliberately, because people cancel and they don't want empty rooms. Uh, but it has happened with me with Ibis once before. We went to Colmar and they had overbooked, but they put us into another hotel. I don't think they're legally obliged to, though. I think they did it because they felt morally obliged to so Caesar when you go I mean you live in a holiday resort where do you go when you go on holiday <laughs> oh can you hear me Caesar where do you go yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, this summer I went to the. I, uh, I went to the. I went to Croatia, and I have with, I have friends with my family at different hotels and houses. Oh, lovely! Uh, it was it was very nice. 
because Croatia I, is beautiful. Yeah. I went to the um, Lake Sopliebis and, uh, and, uh, and to learn to the coast of Croatia. So you, you saw the lakes, did you? The Pavli Pavlici lakes, is it? The the, the Plibice Lake is yeah. the best. With, the best with, with all the found, uh, with all the waterfalls and the. I I went there when we went. We walked around there as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, absolutely stunning. Have you been to Croatia, April? I can't. I know t uh, Tramvelt has. I can't remember if you've ever been, April. Have no, you? no, I haven't been in what we called uh, ex uh, East European. Is that ex-East European land? The Croatia, Serbia, Serbia uh, f with what? what uh, uh, Poland, uh, Czechia, I have been there, but not Poland, for example. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by ex, uh, ex-Soviet Union or... <laughs> no, not... <laughs> East, I mean, they're still East Eastern European, European, but they, they are still... They're still, yeah, yeah. They are still, you can't what, call what them ex. That, <laughs> <laughs> that, that group in the past, uh, I don't, I, I can't... Uh, yeah, no, no. Croatia, Serbia and uh, uh, Montenegro and... That, that, Bosnia. That is, Bosnia and, and as a, as a Govina, that is not uh, ex something. Eh? It's, uh, no, it's not, not really. But it There's is a, ex... cl a club there, a group there, Lynn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that sort ex, of area that, with that? Serbia and Bulgaria, mm -hmm. we tend to call that the Balkans. Ah, Balkans, yeah. But yeah. they're still the Balkans, they're not ex. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Only uh, Croatia and Serbia, eh? they, they were. One Yugoslavia. Oh, ex Yugoslavia, yes. Ex Yugoslavia, you that's say it. That, yeah. <laughs> but you can't call them ex ex European, ex Eastern European, because they're still Eastern. Can't call them ex Balkans. They're still Balkans. Ex Soviet Republic and ex Yugoslavia. Yeah, you can. Uh huh. Ex Yugoslavia. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, that is what I want to say. No, I I would like to go there, Croatia, but uh, I haven't uh, find uh, any uh, victims to go there. <laughs> Any what? Victim. Uh, <laughs> right to go with. To go, to with. go with me, yeah, to go with me. You could have come with us, but you'd have been in a tent. I don't think that's your cup of tea, is it? <laughs> you, have to, you have toilet in your van, I hope. No, no. Oh, no. No, you have to do the walk of shame every morning oh. to the toilet block. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It might change. We might have to get a new van at some point because I'm getting a bit old for that kind of thing. We... Yeah, Lynn, I have so I've April. seen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> I have seen uh, here in Belgium yeah, a, a camp, uh, camping, a camping. So uh, they have to come with their own van, like you, but. Uh, uh, they they get uh, when they arrive there they got uh, a, a bucket no not a bucket what what, what do we uh, you have another word for that Elin? not a bucket for to to pee <laughs> 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 and in the morning they have to bring that that bucket that full uh, bucket to a place and they have to throw it away in a place in a, in a container oh my goodness I could. <laughs> It was too much for me now. That's quite basic for camping nowadays. I mean, that sounds like the sort of camping we did when I was at university. Um, oh. But no, campsites nowadays, you know, they've even got heated loo blocks and showers and, and electric sockets for your uh, hairdryer. It's much more, um, much more civilised than that. That sounds like slopping out at prison. Yeah, that is... Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, sloping, sloping out. What's the, yeah, that is the word that I was uh, looking for. I mean, because you can, you have... can call it a potty, but the potty is ah. very specific. Um, it's got a particular shape and it's usually made of ceramic. So it sounds like they were just handed a bucket. But I mean, uh, it, not... don't forget, if you've even the poshest <laughs> caravan, you still have to empty it out. It doesn't just, oh. it's not plumbed in. No, it, it all goes into a container. And then early in the morning, before people are ready to leave, you'll see them trundling along, dragging it behind them on wheels, and they have to empty it out. So, yeah, it's oh still... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no. <laughs> and oh, 
gitu ya. And another thing also I uh, I I'm think I I'm a little bit uh, worried uh, because in so in, in such a camping uh, area in such a camping area uh, they always the same people who come there and uh, they have uh, already uh, contact to each other uh, uh, they make a special group and uh, i'm uh, uh, yeah i think if i go there will they will they accept me or not that is uh, yeah a click yeah they yeah, form they clicks, form little clicks yes but yeah. I, mean, i i always i've always found camping places to be very friendly and um especially if you get it i mean we we don't do group activities or that kind of thing hubby and i we like to go walking go go out with the dog go taking photos doing some painting he likes to go canoeing that kind of thing but in a lot of campsites if they have organized events like karaoke or um, dancing or comedy night um, that's how you break the ice with the regulars that you just get involved and they're very open and they they actually like new people because they get a bit bored with each other <laughs> oh really yeah. so uh, yeah so um, uh, you will be accepted then you think Generally, but yes. it I mean, be... I wouldn't, I'm not going to speak for the whole camping community, mm -hmm. but I've never had any problems camping because the kind of people who go camping are the kind of people who go camping, and you kind of you go uh, camping as well. You've already got that in common, you know. You, you're campers, and they'll say hello. They won't. They won't sort of say and, Come and if and you have don't... a meal with us or anything like that. But if one of the icebreakers you'll find is if you have children, because the children oh. bond. The children have no perception of borders and boundaries. They'll just see another child and that's it. Somebody to play with. Wow. And so you'll find that more if you've got children, it's easier to break the ice and to get to know the people. But the events that are held on campsites, um, if they're family sites especially, then yes, people are very welcoming. And if you don't do the... Uh, uh that kind of uh, events Lynn. so you are more for yourself you are more, you 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 want to have your privacy more uh, because most, most people will respect that if you're a private yeah? person yeah i mean it's generally it's just like being anywhere you meet people you say hello or not if you don't say hello they'll probably not bother saying hello back if you say hello human behavior dictates that they'll say hello back and um yeah it just it's just like they're just normal people <laughs> who don't mind getting up in the morning and walking across a field to go to the loo <laughs> i think that'll be your biggest problem april <laughs> and do you have to do also um the the cleaning uh, of the of the bathroom and so on uh, no i mean uh, you're expected to clean up after yourself of course but no, ah. that's that's done in the night or early morning you'll find just like in a hotel you'll find the cleaners are there they'll close off one toilet block you'll have to go and find another one if it's a big campsite if not um they'll just you know you just have to go whilst they're cleaning around you kind of thing so yeah that's not an issue that's not an issue Oh, I, I'm I'm so um, shy. I think uh, to do <laughs> that kind of. I I will feel, yeah, to be forced to be. I will force to be uh, more friendly to, to to each other. Otherwise, I, I I'm afraid that they will uh uh like me as friends oh i don't know i'm not sure because in a hot <laughs> it's less anonymous there's less, less anonymity. anonymous yeah there's yeah, less yeah. anonymity but that's what i like about it it's a very communal experience experience mm -hmm. really? <laughs> have you ever been camping caesar have you ever been camping Maybe we should do a, a virtual camping session again, April, at some point. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think yeah, Sazer's but... probably gone to have his tea with his friends because uh, he's yeah. very noisy. This was... Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> this was when I was in a... When I was in a child. Was a child. When I was a uh, child, yep. Yeah. I was in, in a camping. I went camping. I went camping. Yeah, that's it. When I was a child, I went camping. And would you do it again as an adult or are you like April? You prefer hotels and inside toilets? <laughs> I prefer hotels inside toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't know what you're missing, guys. It's like a little adventure. I mean, I like both. Don't get me wrong. We're staying in a hotel next week, I hope. Um, Hubby hasn't told me. Oh, by the way, the, the reason we're going away next week, it's a little unusual, actually, Susie. You're new. You don't know this. But we usually, I usually go away in September. But this year, uh, we had our big holiday in July because my nephew got married. And so we travelled over to the UK to celebrate it with him and... We travelled around the UK camping and um, that was fun. Camping when you're going to a wedding, that's quite def difficult because you've got the wedding clothes to look after. <laughs> yes, you want to uh, you want to do a party? Uh, <laughs> you want to the near to the trees? So, uh... you, you need to go to the loo, not, not do a party. <laughs> no, because in a camping... Well, sometimes do you have a toilet or not? No, no, we have a camper van and no toilet. It's a Volkswagen camper van, so there's no toilet in it. But yeah, they have toilets at the campsite. It's just like having it at home, but you have to walk outside a bit first. <laughs> no, it was more the clothing, uh, the keeping the dress. Um, the, there's no wardrobe, so I had to keep the dress quite... Try, tried to keep the dress uncreased and hubby with his suit uh, you can imagine it was very funny I have to say but anyway um, so this year we didn't go away at the beginning of September and so we're going away in October for our birthdays instead of buying each other a present we decided okay we will go away and uh, that will be our birthday present to each other so next week I don't know what it's going to be like I've never been on holiday in October but I'm hoping the weather will be kind. <laughs> a late birthday celebration, exactly April, yes. Because hubby worked on his birthday, which is, to me, just, no, you don't do that. But he did, he, he said, it's just another day. And he went to, and I said, well, we'll celebrate when we're away. And we're going to celebrate my um, exam as well. So it's two, two celebrations, celebrate my exam results and celebrate his birthday and my birthday. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Last year, last year I celebrated my birthday in Sevilla, I think. In ah, Sevilla. Lovely. Oh, that was yeah. It was lovely. Yeah, I we ate. Uh, uh, what is that, Lind? Uh, uh, the, the small pig on the barbecue. Oh no, small on the barbecue. pig. Yeah, on the barbecue. Uh, what is that in English? So we call it. Uh, we have a special name for that. A little pig, a little baby pig, actually. A baby pig. <laughs> uh, yeah, in oh, Bali, in Island Bali, yeah. In a uh, uh, sucking pig, sucking, sucking pig. Suckling pig. Yeah. Suckling. Pig. Suckling. Ah, uh, suckling. Yeah. Okay, yeah. suckling. Oh, I have a uh, sucking here no, in my it's definitely dictionary. <laughs> Throw that dictionary away. <laughs> Caesar, April's dictionary is useless. She's got a paper dictionary. It's useless. It's a suckling pig. Trust me. Suckling pig is the pig in a barbecue. Yeah, it's a small one. Small one. That, a baby one. Yeah, it's a piglet. Um, it's basically a piglet. And that you, you roast it whole. Uh, or you ah, roast. Roast. Yeah. Roast, roast pig. Yeah. Cooked whole and served up chopped up but it's so and, they put, <laughs> and they put the hole on the plate on your table oh that is uh, no with this little yeah. face and yeah little with this little face ears. No. Oh, it's enough to make me vegetarian again april be careful <laughs> <laughs> anyway i like bacon ba everybody likes bacon even vegetarians like bacon <laughs> The smell of bacon has, has destroyed many a vegetarian. 
<laughs> anyway, um, thanks. We didn't do today what I thought we were going to do, um, but we're, I'm going to have to stop. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually give you the link. I think if I can give you the link. Um, now then, let me just see. How can I send? Ah, yeah, there's the link. Okay, just to wrap up this week, uh, where we've been talking about health all week, but these sessions are very relaxed and informal, so it was nice to just talk about something else. Um, however, there's a little um, form there for you to fill out with as many health vocabulary words as you can think of, either from the previous sessions or just that you already know April, because you weren't here. It's, it was a shame. You should have been here yesterday. It was quite good fun. Nobody could figure out what a plaster was, you know, a leg in plaster, a broken oh, leg in plaster. Oh, I had I have fun. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so you can put your answers there, just as many words uh, as you can Lynn, think. Lynn, 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 you need April, permission. April, April. Oh, Lynn, 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 you need permission. Oh, I thought I'd set it to have permission. No. Hang on a second. Yes, I need oh, permission. no, no, no. Okay, hang on. There you go. Um, okay, try again. Try again. This is it. It's uh, homework for next week. I don't like the word homework. It's if you want to. <laughs> It's if you want to. Okay, work. no problem. Okay. <laughs> Is it working now? Good. Um, we're going to do that a little bit in these sessions, just maybe before a session or during the week, uh, just to see what you already know. And then I'll post the results up here and you can have a look what other people said. So it's like a mini vocabulary challenge, April. Okay. Okay, here is a new okay. uh, I know, Sazid, what are you doing here? We're leaving. I, well, I'm leaving, but you guys can carry on chatting informally if you want to, okay? I'm sorry, Sazid, uh, we've been online no problem, no problem. for over an hour, so I've got to go now. I've got to go and walk the doggy. I'll be in Kitely later for Speakeasy, so maybe see you there. But if not, hopefully in the next pop-up session or the next Discord session tomorrow, TGIF, don't forget. And uh, anyway, chat amongst yourselves because just because I leave, nothing closes. You can carry on talking. Okay, bye. Thanks, Caesar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, April. See you later. Bye. Thanks, Lynn. Bye to you. Bye. Goodbye. And don't forget to hang up when you've finished. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise we'll listen to your snooze? conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send the link? <laughs> Did you send the link? Yeah, the same link should work. Try that link again. Okay, no problem. It should work. Bye. Is it working? Just refresh, uh, Cesar, and it works. Let me. Let me. I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, let me. I'll just. I'll just post it again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, how do I do that? Send. Oh, send. I don't think it's... Uh, I'll shorten it, actually. Let's do a shorter URL. Then it will look different. And this one should work. Try it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hopefully that works. So, take care. Bye. Bye.
Aoife. <laughs> but they make me confused. <laughs> ah, but you're easily confused, April. You always yeah. tell me that. <laughs> so, not they make me confused. They make me feel confused or they confuse me. Okay. Ah, okay. They confuse me <laughs> every time. And Lind, actually, yeah. I don't really like this uh, new settings that uh, everything is... Uh, you know why? Uh, why? I don't know. Because you don't like change. <laughs> yeah, but, I've but, moved uh, your cheese. <laughs> I've moved your cheese. You don't like it. No. Ma Monday live chat and TGIF are there in the, in the same place, okay? Uh, uh, but... Let's see. Monday live chat and TGIF. Yeah. MLT, the voice. TGIF, yeah. They're at the top. I see your... Uh, uh, F is, uh, from top to to down a little. Okay. Uh, top to bottom. And then chat, chat, text the common room, text, uh, text, uh, Latin uh, radio show, and then suddenly a uh, voice small talk, and then we again chat MLC, chat CGIF, voice English radio, voice use news. What is use news? You do you need voice for use news? You snooze, you use. Then, no, um, yeah. not you. Do you know what I just heard you say? Do you know what I just heard you say? Use news. Use news. <laughs> use news. I was like, she's on the wrong channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, you snooze, you lose. Um, you snooze, you lose. That's, Voice. Okay, Carlos ended up there earlier because that's where oh. you go if you are in a voice chat and then you don't do anything for a while and the reason I like being able to watch TV when I want to so if I have an hour free I can just switch on Netflix find a program I'm following and I can watch it and you mentioned you watch it in English I'll give you a thumbs up for that <laughs> Well done. Anyhow, April has joined us and I love it when we get a new member because it allows people to say hello to each other and ask each other questions. April, I'm not sure if you heard Carlos's introduction because you were text chatting about your dinner. <laughs> hello, April. Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Uh, I can hear you, but I don't know if you can hear me because I, I always... The first time, uh, every time I open the chat, uh, the voice the chat, uh, the voice channel, then uh, it said Discord can't detect your voice settings. Why is that? Probably um, the microphone you're using, if it's a USB one that's not compatible with your sound card, it's just looking for your settings and it's not finding it where it thinks it should be. But if you're, you, you use a USB, Mike, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and it works. Yeah, no, it works, but it can't find what it's looking for. Okay, Discord is only a computer program, and it's a very clever computer program, and the people at Discord are very clever, uh, but they have their limitations. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I have the impression that they, they are not so clever if they always say <laughs> that. Uh, and but really, isn't that, isn't actually, that nice? if they're not so clever, then they can find out everything about your computer. I like that. <laughs> it makes me feel a bit. Sexy. Canary Island. Uh, I, I'm a student about security and emergencies. Uh, I finished my final project in at the university about security and emergencies as well. <laughs> Um, I study intermediate English too uh, at the high school English. Uh, in Spain is called Escuela de Idiomas. Um, I like in my free time. I like computers, uh, science computers, running, basketball, and uh, ATC. Awesome, very good. Sorry, I muted my ca I muted my microphone because my little doggy just started barking at I have no idea what somebody something outside. But uh, that was very interesting. So, what what are you? I know you've just joined the network, and I apologise. You do have to. You can 
people can come to the Monday sessions and the Friday sessions without having to join anything or uh, without having to confirm anything. But if you want to come to these sessions and some other sessions, you do need to let me know who you are and to join the forum. Um, it's just because we've run these sessions for a long time and we know how it can get. So it's to keep you safe and to make it more fun for us not to have to deal with anybody who's not really here to learn English. <laughs> um, it's interesting that you've you, you've put computers as part of your spare time. Really? You like computers as a hobby, yeah? Yeah, it's my best hobby because uh, um, it's a great... Uh, I like great, uh, doing graphic designers uh, for companies. Um, it's very interesting for me. Okay, so I wouldn't say I like doing graphic designers. Um, graphic designers are people who work in graphic design, okay? <laughs> so, um, I like doing graphic design, is what you would say. So, I like doing graphic, oops, capitalized it wrong, graphic design for companies. Okay. So, what do you do that you would consider a hobby? That sounds like work. Okay. What would you consider a hobby on the computer? I mean, I like computers because they enable me to do this and to run the network, but that's work. Um, in my spare time, I like computers because I can play games, I can chat with friends. So what part of it is more less to do with work, Carlos? Um, after works, after works, uh, I spend a lot of times uh, to see documentaries in English. Um, and sometimes I play games, video games. Okay, as well. so we wouldn't say to see documentaries, to watch. So you watch a lot of things on your computer, not on the television. Yes, 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 in the uh, computer and television, because I have a, cha uh, a Netflix. Ah, yeah, me too. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I and we're online. Good afternoon. Good morning, just in case. Good evening. Hello, always the safest thing to say in these sessions. And uh, it's Lynn here from the Learn English Network with another pop-up English session. Uh, the last for this week. And there won't be one next week with me because I'm going to be away. But I'll probably carry on the week after. Keep an eye on the calendar. Remember, these sessions have no set time. Uh, just to be fair to people who aren't always uh, able to come to the other sessions, I'm going to mix them up sometimes the morning, sometimes the evening, sometimes the afternoon very very unlikely that it will ever happen in my night time though I'm far too sleepy by the time it uh, hits eight o'clock nine o'clock <laughs> so April's in uh, text chat saying she doesn't know what to eat today <laughs> what am I expected to do about that April <laughs> okay um, We've got a new member and you've jumped through all the hoops. Uh, Carlos, I think it is, isn't it? Carlos, would you like to introduce yourself? <clears throat> oh, can you hear me, Carlos? Hi, I'm Cesar, uh, here from Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very, very well, thank you. Carry on, from Las Palmas, okay. Yes, from 